equivalent of seventh grade for me as well. But you can also do a little bit of both. And so let me show you um, what that looks like. So if I go back to my start screen here, and let's say I want to, uh, you know, I've got, uh, maybe I'm watching the, uh, the news and I want to keep an eye on, on sort of current events here. Uh, and uh, and I, want to, I want to do that while I'm also working in the background in the desktop. Of course, again, keyboard, right? Alt-Tab is the, the, the shortcut you're familiar with. All the Windows 7 shortcuts all still work. Uh, and and you, as you can see, it's, it uh, navigates across both desktop and uh, Metro-style applications as well. Um, and, and what I'm going to do now is just I'm just going to reach up here in the corner. I'm going to grab that news app. I'm going to drop it in and just put it there so that it's, it's able to, uh, I'm able to keep an eye on those, those headlines while I'm working in, in, the, in desktop and Excel. And, uh, and again, of course, I can still snap things and, and have that laid out in a way that's sort of easy and convenient for me to use. And as soon as I'm done with it, you know, I can just grab it here and slide it off the screen and, and there. But, uh, so it's, it's just, it's super easy to, uh, uh, to, to use in that way. And again, all mouse and keyboard, no touch involved there. But let me go back to a touch system here and uh, show you some more about the charms because I promised to talk about those. Again, the charms are, are things that, that uh, I just I swipe off on the right edge there and, uh, and I'm able to get access to the things that I do with my system really frequently. Uh, and and the, the first one is, is settings. You know, if I'm walking around uh, and, you know, in an environment like this, I might want to change the brightness, I might want to change the, the volume if I'm watching something. Uh, and so, uh, so if I hit settings there, uh, you can see that right under my thumbs, I've got all those sort of standard controls, the things that I use really most frequently. The other thing that you see is uh, up, up here in this area, this is a, a settings area that's available to applications. So any Metro style application that I'm running, if it has settings that it needs to expose, rather than that developer having to go write UI for that and have to do all that, that work, they can just, in their code, just say, hey, here are settings that I have available. Uh, and then they get to use that space uh, and so if you're in an app and you want to like, you know, change something in, in that app, you can do that, again, with that same uh, quick gesture to your file system. And, and it supports you know, the, the, the touch experience, just like you'd expect, navigation. It's easy for me to, to flip through these photos and find things that I need. Um, and, and because, it, again, this is my PC, I can get to all the, the, the familiar places that, where I store things. I have documents and pictures, and I can go to my C drive. Uh, I, you know, I, I can go to the network, uh, access my home group, or, or anything I want to do there. Um, one of the other things, though, that you'll see is that I've got a couple of apps that show up here uh, in, this, uh, in this file menu. And, and this is because apps also have the ability to say, hey, I've got stuff that you can go and get as well. Uh, in this case, you know, like, probably like a lot of people here, I keep photos, uh, you know, I've used photo sharing services on the web, I use Facebook, uh, and so like, not all my stuff is always on my, my PC. Uh, and I want to be able to go out and get that stuff uh, very, very easily. Uh, so these are just a couple of sample apps that we've written sh to show you that what that looks like. Uh, so Photo, F Photo Feeder, you know, is a is a web, is a Metro style app. It's it's reaching out to a to a web interface um, and a web service and, and and grabbing that photo. And there from right from there, I can pick that photo and go in there. And as, as you saw, it actually it brought up the app. It, it let me navigate through there and grab that content that I wanted from the internet. Um, you know, of course, the the thing that you, you're also going to like. Uh, picking things, finding things on your system is, is, a, is a great way to find things, but search is really the, the most powerful tool. So, as you'd expect, in, in terms of charms, it's, it's on the top of the list. And let me just show you, uh, what you some things that you can do there. So, uh, if I hit search here, uh, I, and actually, you saw search a little earlier in Excel. That was actually the search interface when I, when I typed that in. Um, but uh, but I, can, I can search across apps, I can search settings, I can search files on my system. And again, apps can, can, uh, can tell the system that, hey, I've got stuff that, that's searchable as well. Uh, so, so these apps that are installed on my system are basically, they're saying, you know, we call it an app contract. The app says, I can search. And you can, you can through the search charm, uh, uh, invoke me and, and search my content. So if I, uh, let's say I'll hit Socialite here, which is a, a, using the Facebook API, and, uh, and search for my friend Jason Beaumont. So we search for Jason, and, uh, and there he is. So bring him up there, and there's his wall. Um, I can also, um, uh, I can search across those different scopes. Again, I've, I've, that search is populated there, uh, and so now I can, I can hit files, I can see, hey, actually Jason shared some photos with me. So now it's, it went you know, seamlessly from searching on Facebook to searching my file system, and even, you know, of course, the thing you probably search most is the, is the internet. Oops. Back there. Um, and, uh, and so, again, it pre-populated that search and, uh, and search Bing uh, for Jason Beaumont. 
the, what you're seeing here is the, the new uh, Internet Explorer, the Metro style Internet Explorer. And just like every Metro style application, it's, it gets 100% of the screen. It's 100% it's, it's of the pixels. Um, and, and, and it's decided to lay out as a way you sort of expect for a browser, but all that content you know, uh, front and center. Um, but of course, you know, there are controls that you need as well. Like, how do I type in a new URL here? Um, and, you know, so, so those controls have to be available just right there at your fingertips as well. And just like, you know, when I slide from the, from the right edge, you see the, the system controls. In an app, if I slide from the top or bottom, I see the app controls. So the, so the app developer is able to, to, to place their controls there and, uh, and for the things that you're going to do most frequently. And then when I'm done with that, I can just go, go right back in. Let me show you. I'll just jump to, a, to another website there. And, uh, um, and again, that, that content is immersive in, in the website. I can, can navigate around here and see different things. Uh, also, what you can do that's very cool in, in IE with, with touches is, is if I want to go back, instead of like bringing up controls and then hitting back, just I just touch and, and just uh, slide back across the screen. Let me show you this. If I wanted to share this recipe, I'm just going to tap on this text and send this to my friend Katie. Um, and uh, I just bring that out. I hit share. And, and again, I have apps on my system that have said, I can share stuff. Uh, and and, and uh, they don't actually have to worry about the stuff that they're sharing. Like, and, and, and Windows doesn't have to provide all that capability uh, in, in, one, in one way, but you get a lot of choice around the apps that you want to use to share your content. So uh, in this case, I'll open this friend send app, uh, and, and, and it's, it's uh, pasted the content here. I've got a, a little box here I can start typing, and you know, it looks good. Um, as, as you saw there that, uh, that it, it, the autocomplete popped up, uh, autocomplete, spell check, uh, those are all things that are built into the platform. So again, the app developer doesn't have to write all that code. Um, they can just uh, get that for free as part of, of writing an app for Windows 8. Um, and then, uh, and actually while I'm here, I'll, I'll show you um, the, uh, the touch keyboard here. It's the sort of standard touch keyboard that everybody's used to seeing. But you know, if I'm, again, I'm walking around with my tablet, and, uh, and you know, I don't, maybe don't want to hold it with one hand and touch or and, and type or put it down. Um, you know, I want to be able to type with just my thumbs. And so we have uh, a thumb keyboard as well that allows me to, to, as I'm going, just you know, walk around and type with my thumbs. Well, you know, I've got a bigger, you know, bigger hands. And so again, personalization, I can size that up and make it really fit me, you know, exactly how I want it. Uh, so, so you know, it, it's it's right for me. Okay. So I talked about uh, um, the. Metro style applications in the marketplace and the opportunity for developers. So we expect that there's going to be a lot of great apps. There's going to be a lot of stuff that you're going to want to download and, and, and try and use. And, uh, and so you know, how do you navigate between those? How do you use those in a way that, that's really uh, fast and fluid? So again, just like sliding out on the right, that's a system control. Sliding out on the left is a system control as well. And again, these are things that, as I'm walking around with my thumbs, super easy to do. So when I slide to the left, I, I bring up the previous apps that I was using. And you can see just how seamless and, and, and fast and fluid it is for me to flip through those, uh, you know, and find what I'm what I'm looking for. Um, I can also bring bring an app out and uh, and put it in a in a small view there, um, and you know, and, I, and I can put that on either side. Uh, I can I can size it off the screen, go back to my app, you know, and so I, I get a lot of capability uh, in terms of, of what I can do. Um, also, very importantly, from you know, from the perspective of having lots of apps on your system, you really kind of want the, the best of multitasking, the ability to have a bunch of stuff going and be able to flip through it easily. Um, but you don't want to pay any kind of performance or battery life penalty for that. And so, one of the things that we do is that that um, uh, in Windows in Windows 8 is that all these apps when they when they're uh, switched to the background. So if I bring that up, you know, or this app up. Um, it has 100% of the CPU. The other apps have been suspended. Let me just show you this really quickly in Task Manager. Task Manager is not something you sort of expect to go to use every day, but I'll show you just as an example. So here are the apps that I have loaded, and, uh, and as you can see, they're all using zero CPU. But even though it's zero CPU, I can, again, flip back through them. There's no penalty um, you know, for having all those apps in memory uh, and, and, and on the system performance. And as you can see, actually, even as, as I swapped, it went down from you know, a couple percent down to, down to zero. Uh, and so you, you have, again, all that richness of multitasking without having to pay any price for it. Uh, and, but there are sometimes where I just want to close something. You know, I'm done with it. Um, and I don't have to do that from Task Manager. I can, but that's not a very elegant way to do it. So, so let me show you what that looks like. Let's, let's say that um, I've got a couple things up here, um, and, uh, and I'm watching some stocks and, uh, and, and browsing. And I decide, OK, I'm done with stocks. I just want to do browsing. So I can just swipe in from the top on that, on that stock app and slide down and it goes away. So now it's closed. 
Um, I can do that whether it's uh, whether it's docked on the side or, or I can just take the whole IE app and, and close that uh, and, and close it as well. And now that app is, is completely clo 